I am going to unbox some Rubik's Cubes. Well, they're not just cubes. They're other shapes, too, of course. But, um, first of all, um, I have two of them that didn't exactly come in a box. Um, these aren't the same brand. I'm just going to show you them. One of them I mixed up, and that's a 4x4, four four, and the videos I've watched, they're still, I don't, still don't know how to solve it. I have gotten these uh, center pieces solved, though, from the video. It's just the pieces after that I get confused by. And I also have the world's smallest Rubik's Cube. And it's about the size of one square on a normal size Rubik's Cube. So, um, I think we should start out with, um, some normal 3 by 3s I have, um, two of these. I have that type, and I have the normal type, I guess. It's, um, it's still faster and not as clanky as the actual Rubik's brand. Uh... But this is a pretty good brand. So we're going to open the normal one first. So this is the normal one. It turns, um, turns pretty good. And all that, so. So I really have to uh, say it. Um, it turns uh, really well. I just um, mix it up there. But at the end, I will be solving the ones that I know to solve. Which, there's four of them in here. And they're like, like I'm, the only ones I could solve are these two. I only solve this one and the one um, I'm about to show you. I will also be solving the one I'm about to show you in just a moment. But I only these do um, this type because I don't want to solve all four of them at the end because that would be kind of a little bit too long of a video. So yeah, that's that one. Uh, it moves pretty. Uh, Nice, so, yep, okay, so, I can just tell that this one is better, like, way better than the Rubik's brand, um, like, yeah, I personally think that is way better, it's so much easier to turn, and yeah, next, this is the same brand, but they make multiple different types, and this is the one that doesn't have the black outlines. And this has these type of outlines. Um, that one actually turned pretty nice too. Yeah. That, uh, bo so both of these are really good, um, really good cubes. Sorry, I got dust in my eye. Um. Yeah, both of these are really good cubes. They, uh, turn pretty easy. And, uh... Yep, so those are the 3 by 3s Next, the... Like I was saying before, I'm gonna be solving this next cube also. And, uh, you may be thinking it is the 2x2. Two two, but I still don't know how to solve that, because at a certain step, it doesn't work. So... The next cubes are going to be the Pyramix. So, I have, um, oh, this one is already, um, slightly opened. I don't know. When I set it down, it must have opened itself. Um, but this is a Pyramix, and it 
is basically a triangle version. Um, how it moves, it, these tips, they can rotate just independently. Like that. And the sides, um, can move. Like that. So, um, yeah, and this one moves pretty easy. I like the noise the tips make when they move. Um, this one moves pretty easy, and, uh, so I think this one's a good, uh, one. I'm not gonna mix this one up, because I'm not gonna be solving that one at the end of the video, neither of this one, because they're the same thing as, um, the other two. Uh, next is the, uh, black, uh, black outline pyramid, and this one, pretty much, it moves the same, of course, um, it's a little bit harder to turn, but I'm still gonna be solving this one at the end, it is slightly harder to turn, um, but it's still um, really good. I don't have a uh, Pyramix from Rubix, so I can't really compare it. Neither with the 2x2, two two, I can't compare it. But this one um, is pretty good. Now, for the 2x2s. Two I have the black one it moves pretty good it's funny if you um, are used to a 3x3 three three, it feels weird because there's um, not as many blocks and they're bigger that's pretty easy to turn like again I can't compare it I can't compare any of the other ones after either so Uh, this one again this one is um, in instead um, like it's weird so this one right here the black outline is uh, for the 3x3 three three is easier than this one um, and for these this, um, I mean, yeah, this one is easier, again, same with the 3x3, three three. this one's easier than that one, but for the Pyramix, uh, this one's the easy one, so, um, yeah, they are different, and, yeah, um, I don't know how to solve these, so, I I'm not going to be solving those at the end. The next one, I don't have the two versions of it, but on the side of the box, it does show them. And this one, I have the black outline of this one, is this weird one. Look how it turns. That's the way it turns, and it's really, really weird. I'm afraid to mix this one up, so I don't know how to solve this one either, of course, because um, I want to learn how to solve the 2x2 two two first. I don't know why, I just feel safer like that way. Uh, and I also want to watch the video first on how to solve it before I actually mix it up, so yeah. Thing is, I don't know what this one is called. Whoever watching this, if you know what this one is called, then uh, please put it in the comments because I want to look up how to solve it. 
and um, all of the things on the box is in Chinese. So, yeah. Um, but, the last one that I have to show you is the... I also forgot what it's called because the box is also in Chinese, but it is, um, I forgot the name, I remember, I, I knew it at some point. Um, it has 12 sides and 11 little pieces on each side because one, two, three, four, five of those pieces one, two, three, four, five of those pieces, and then one of those. So that's 11. 5 plus 5 is 10. And plus 1 is 11. So that's how many are on each side. So it actually turns pretty easy for a big cube. It turns easier than my 4x4, four four, which is from Rubik's. And so I don't have any of this brand of cube uh, of a 4x4. Four four, so I am not able to compare those. But, um, yeah, I'm also afraid to mix that one up. Because, you know, these are harder to solve because there's more sides. And, um, yeah. So, those are all the cubes I have to show you. But, like I said, I will be showing me solving these two cubes. So first we need to mix up that one. I'm going to cut the video and uh, it will be mixed up when I'm done. Okay. It's now all mixed up. Now um, I'm going to solve a 3x3. Three three. Um, I'm not timing myself or I'm not trying to do it the quickest ever but um yeah hold on let me just do that um but i'm just going to uh solve it Um, also, these, um, these colors to me, since I have bad lighting in here, see, that shadow is bouncing up and down, that's because my fan keeps, like, moving back and forth as it's squinting, it's like going this way as it's spinning, um, but it's difficult for me to see these colors, so... Uh, yeah, this one's harder. It's, like, not harder to solve, because it's the same as the other 3x3. Three three. It's just, like, it's because my shadow gets in the way when I'm looking at it. and Okay, I got the second layer solved. Now for the uh, yellow face and then the third layer, so.
yellow face. Now for the third layer. That cube is now solved. I know this video is really long, but, um, yeah. Um, next we have our triangle, which I can't really put this into layers for you because I don't really exactly know what's going on. I learned how to do this today, so I can't exactly do it too, um, uh, quick either, so you kind of got to... Hold on just a moment while I solve it, and you can just skip me, like, solving uh, all of these uh, stuff to, um, yeah, you can just enjoy the unboxing part that I just did. There we go. It's solved. And I didn't even have to do certain steps. So. Yeah, I didn't get to do all of the steps, but I solved it. Both of them. Bye.